I'm Highly Dating Coach Connell Barrett, helping you find the right relationship for you. Welcome to Highly Recommended Dating Tips. Today I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes that men make with online dating. Big mistake number one, poor photos, especially a, a poor featured photo. That first photo that people see on the dating app, that is the most important real estate on the entire platform. So what you don't want to do is have a selfie of you showing nine chins, or you don't want a, a dark photograph in your garage where you look like Dexter in his kill room. You don't want a, a serious look on your face scowling and don't look like Zoolander. Here's what you do want to do. You want to run that first photo as a portrait a photograph of you basically from the waist up, dressed first date great, smiling, looking at the camera with a real authentic smile, and ideally you want natural light, just like in this room, not stale artificial light. It's gonna be more flattering for you, it's gonna make you more attractive, and it's gonna make it more likely that that person on the other end of their phone is gonna to wanna to like you right back and connect with you. Big mistake number two that men make is asking boring questions or delivering a boring opener for that first message. So let's say that the other person you've connected, you both like each other's profiles. Here's what you don't want to say. You don't want to say, hey, or how are you? Or how's your day? Or what's up? You're just going to end up boring them. Those are cliched openers and it makes the other person want to just move on to the next profile. So what do you want to do instead? You want to ask them a question or deliver an opener that has relevance to them. So what you want to do is look at their profile and say, oh, this person is into hiking perhaps. And then ask them a question about where they love to hike. Or maybe they're huge fans of Bill Murray movies. That opener should be about Bill Murray and, hey, are you more of a Caddyshack person or a Lost in Translation person? Make that opener something that's relevant to them and they're going to be much more likely to respond. Don't use boring, hey, how's your day type of openers. Okay, and big mistake number three that men make, and I see this all the time as a dating coach, is they get too sexual too soon. They send R-rated or even X-rated messages. So you never ever want to get too sexual right out of the box. Uh, I mean, I've seen some really graphic things. Some guys write things like, um, hey there girl, I really like your and I can't wait to Hopefully after that, maybe we might go Don't say anything that needs to be bleeped. So instead of X-rated, what you want to do is think G-rated or maybe PG-rated at most. So you can flirt, but you don't want to be all sexy time like Borat. You know, sexy time, not nice. Uh, instead, think G-rated or PG-rated. So make your openers flirty, but not vulgar. For example, here's the best way to do that. Pay them a compliment about something that's not about their looks or about any of their body parts, right? So for example, let's say you like that person's style. You can say, hey, you have great style. You look amazing in that photo of you wearing X, Y, Z, right? Or maybe you find out you have something in common and you love the fact that this person who you've just connected with is also into, I don't know, uh, reading novels or traveling to Paris. You can say, hey, I love that you're into traveling to Paris, France backpacking through Europe. I think that's really attractive. So compliment their traits, not their body parts. That's the best way to flirt with that opening message. So follow Hailey right here so that you don't miss any new videos. And remember, a quality relationship starts with a quality conversation. I'll see you next time. <laughs>